Well, he's not made anybody shout. That's one's own doing. You have to kind of yield to these things. This is like the Holy Spirit. You can yield to the Holy Spirit or you cannot. You can yield to God's Word or you cannot. You can do God's Word or you cannot. You can act on faith or you cannot. You can believe God's Word or you can choose to reject it. So I don't believe that. Well, then you're either saying I don't believe what God said or I'm saying I don't believe what somebody else said. Well, I'd be careful what side I stood on to voice those things. Now, people aren't hearing what I'm talking about this morning <laughs> in a lot of places. But you know what? God's got me here. And, uh, and I love it. Praise God. Because I want the truth. I want to speak from the perspective of, of God's will and God's word. Or I'm not, why am I here? I don't want to be here other than that. I want to be here to tell you stuff that don't line up with God's Word. What good is that? Why, why waste your time on that? I wouldn't waste my time listening to somebody who don't know what God is saying and telling me old junk. Why, I got better things to do than that. My goodness, don't you? I don't want to waste my time letting somebody pump stuff into me that's not God's will. Amen. And such a God that we have and such a, such a word that we have, you know what? We ought to know better. Really, we should. But I find that people will believe anything. It's like, it's, it's like we're made to believe. We're just made to believe things. And, and if you're not careful, you'll just believe something that's not the truth. I mean, knows you can believe something that's not true. You could believe, you could believe just the same something that's not true as you can believe something that is the truth. I said, Amen. Yes, God. So what we have to be careful is this, and and Peter warned us, Paul warned us, Paul warned Timothy to beware of people that do these things that don't preach the word. That's why he charged Timothy. He said, I charge you before God. Preach the word. Be instant. In season and out of season. He said, there are people coming. And Paul uh, said this over in the book of Acts. Well, our time's gone, ain't it? He said, we better stop right here. He said in the book of Acts, he said, for three years, three years, with night and day with tears, I warned you. Oh, we'd be moved by a little, by five minutes of tears and mourning. Let alone three years that when I leave, grievous wolves will come in. And they'll, they'll separate the flock. And he was so in love with God in the church that it drove him to tears and, and heartache knowing that what would happen when he left. Oh, our, our time's gone. God bless till next week. Let me have just a quick word of prayer for these people. Thank you. Praise God. Sister Van Winkle. All right. And Sister Beulah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, we pray for them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the blessing of God on them. Anything that's not like you, we come against it in the name of Jesus. And Father, thank you now that they be receivers of the Word of God. Thank you for the blessing on them today in Jesus' name. All of our viewers, Lord, thank you for blessing them and our listeners. If you don't know Jesus, make him Lord of your life today. Do it today. Till next week, this has been God's word for today.